Okay, today we are finishing our notes on solutions through substitutions. I told you there's three different types. The first one that we did on Friday is homogeneous or homogeneous, however you want to pronounce it. Second one that we're going to do today is Bernoulli equations. Third one is when you have dy dx is some function of ax add by add c. Homogeneous and Bernoulli, those are the two big ones. That last one we're going to throw in, but it doesn't come up all that often. Okay. A Bernoulli equation looks like the following. dy dx add p of x times y equals f of x times y to the n. Left side should look like a linear equation in standard form. So remember that you just have plain dy dx, nothing in front of it. This term is what makes it not linear. So this is like a linear equation, it just has that extra factor. Okay, here is the key to solving the uh, Bernoulli equations. You are going to use the following substitution. W is going to be equal to y to the power 1 minus n. So then what you'll end up doing is you'll end up taking the derivative with respect to x. So on the left side you'll get dw dx. On the right side you'll get 1 minus n y to the negative n dy dx. Ultimately, we're looking to get rid of y, so we need dy dx so that we can substitute that in. So this tells us then that dy dx is equal to 1 minus n to the negative 1, y to the n, dw dx. So all I did was move everything over. Alex. It's like, in, it's like differentiating implicitly. So you still take the derivative of y with respect to x. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the equation we started with and plug in for dy dx y, y to the n. So we get dw dx, 1 minus n to the negative 1, y to the n, plus p of x times y, equals f of x times y to the n. It's helpful if we can put this in standard form or fairly close to standard form. If we divide by y to the n, we get dw dx, 1 minus n to the negative first, add p of x, y to the 1 minus n is equal to f of x. Now what we'll notice, this y to the 1 minus n, that's w, that's what we defined above. That should always be the case. When you divide out, you should end up with a w. So we get that w, what we're also going to do is we're going to divide by 1 minus n to the negative first. So all of that will give us dw dx plus 1 minus n p of x times w equals 1 minus n times f of x. Do we know how to solve this? What type of equation is this now? What? Linear. So now we are linear in terms of w. So we will solve for w. and then we will substitute back so that we end up in terms of y rather than w. Okay. Questions before we try one? Okay. Here's the one we're going to try. dy dx subtract y equals e to the x y squared. Okay, 
this looks linear, except that it has that y squared term. That's what makes it Bernoulli. So we are going to let w equals y to the 1 minus n, which in this case is y to the 1 minus 2. So y to the negative first. Please remember you need dy dx by itself before you can find w. So in this case, dy dx has a coefficient of 1. But in your homework, they might not always have a coefficient of 1. Then we're going to need dw dx. That'll be negative y to the negative 2 dy dx. We want dy dx, though, so that we can substitute that back. So we end up with dy dx is equal to negative y squared dw dx. So like we did before, all of this is going to go in for dy dx. When we do that, we get negative y squared dw dx minus y equals e to the x times y squared. We are going to divide by negative y squared. Try to put this in a linear form. When we do, we get dw dx plus y to the negative first equals negative e to the x. If we did everything right, once we get this in a linear form, this term should have a w in it, which ours does. So we get dw dx plus w is equal to negative e to the x. This now is linear. <coughs> so we are going to have to find our integrating factor, so this will be e to the integral of 1 dx, which is e to the x. Once we multiply the entire equation by e to the x, on the left side, we'll have w times e to the x, the derivative of that product. On the right side, we have negative e to the 2x. integrate, we end up with w times e to the x equals negative one-half e to the 2x plus c. Okay, at some point we're going to have to substitute back for w, which was y to the negative first. So we get e to the x, y to the negative first. It's negative one-half e to the 2x plus c. Divide out that e to the x, we get y to the negative first is negative one half e to the x plus c e to the negative x. You are welcome to leave your answer like that. Or we can express y as one over negative one half e to the x plus c e to the negative x. Personally, I don't think either one looks all that nice, but either one will work. Do we get the gist? Use your substitution, then you should end up with a linear equation. Okay, I do have one quick note for you before we look at the third kind, and it's to be careful. If you have something like this, dy dx, add x squared y is equal to x cubed over y squared. This is Bernoulli because of this y squared over here. I want us to be careful with w. So w is y to the one minus n, which in this case is y to the 1 minus what? Negative 2. Yes, please make sure that you use negative 2 and not positive 2. Okay. Can we keep going? Yes? Okay. So the last type again looks like the following dy dx is some function of ax add by at c if you see that type you are going to use the following substitution and this should make sense u is equal to ax add by at c
So for our last example, we have dy dx is equal to the quantity negative 2x add y squared minus 7. And y of 0 is equal to 0. One thing I haven't told you yet, on your test, anytime you are solving an equation, you have to tell me what kind it is. So this doesn't have an official name, but I would want you to write that I'm using a substitution. That helps me grade your test so if it's separable, tell me that before you start solving. So in this case, our u is going to be equal to negative 2x add y. And that should make sense. You're going to end up with u squared minus 7, which is friendlier to solve. Like before, you need du dx, which is negative 2, add dy dx. So again, it's like implicit. dy dx then will be du dx plus 2. Then we can go back to the differential equation and start substituting in everything that we have. So we get du dx plus 2 is equal to u squared minus 7. Move over the 2, we get du dx is equal to u squared minus 9. Okay. What kind of equation is this? This is separable. Yes. That will always be the case with this type of equation. Once you do your substitution, it should end up being separable. So in this case, we get du over u squared minus 9 is equal to dx. What do I do on the left side? Partial fractions. So a over u minus 3 plus b over u plus 3 is equal to 1 over u squared minus 9. We get a times the quantity u plus 3 plus b times the quantity u minus 3 is equal to 1. If we look at the term that has a u, we get a plus u plus b equals 0. If we look at the constant term, we get 3a minus 3b is equal to 1. I'm sure we can solve this system, right? Great. B ends up being negative one sixth. A then is positive one sixth. On the left side, then we get one sixth over u minus three plus negative one sixth over u plus three du is equal to dx. One sixth natural log of u minus three minus one sixth natural log of u plus three equals x plus c. So one sixth natural log of u minus three over u plus three equals x plus c. We'll end up multiplying by six taking both sides to the power of e, in which case you'll get u minus 3 over u plus 3 is equal to c1 e to the 6x. Okay, at this point, if you want to substitute in your initial condition to find c, you can. My preference is to solve for u first, so that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to solve for u, and then I'll find my c. So in this case, we get u minus 3 is equal to u plus 3 c1e to the 6x. I'm going to skip a few steps here. Hopefully, you can see you'll end up distributing that c1e to the 6x, moving the u over so that you can factor. You'll get 1 minus c1e to the 6x. On the other side, you'll get 3 plus 3c1e to the 6x. Your u, then, will end up being 3 times the quantity 1 plus c1e to the 6x. So I just factored out the 3.
Okay, at this point, I'm going to substitute in u. u, we defined from the very beginning, was negative 2x plus y. add the 2x over, y ends up being 2x add all of this. Okay, lastly utilizing the initial condition, y of 0 equals 0, we get 0 equals 0 plus 3 1 plus c1 over 1 minus c1. c1 ends up being negative 1. So our final answer would be y equals 2x plus 3 times the quantity 1 minus e to the 6x over 1 plus e to the 6x. All of that. Is our answer.